Congratulations. We're starting day 17 of our three week, 21 day challenge. Today is one of my favorite exercises of all time. I'm gonna teach it to you from a very basic level. So it doesn't matter if you're really weak in your core, you're really, really weak in your shoulders, and you haven't attempted this one, I'm gonna show you what you need to do in order to just get started, even if it's without your platform. And then as you get more comfortable, more mobile, and feel a little more confident, then you can add some intensity, some intensity as you choose to. For those of you who are ready to just jump in and go all out, I'm gonna make this one really fun for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna talk positioning first. Today I'm gonna to be featuring the waiver press. So the waiver press has push-up handles that are already built into it. You don't have to do that though. I'm gonna show you the way to use without the handles and the way to use with the handles if you have handles with your, with your platform. First things first. I want you to get into position, hands and knees, and I want you to think about squeezing your shoulders together and think about pushing your shoulder blades as far apart as possible. So think about pushing your shoulders through the ceiling. So again, we're squeezing the shoulders, pushing away. What that's going to look like from the side is if I put that block right there in the middle of my back, if I squeeze, okay, you can see the little slouch in my low back, and if I press away, back becomes a little bit more flat line, okay? If I push into the platform by pushing my arm or pushing my shoulders up through the ceiling, I'm pushing harder into the platform when I do that, which means the platform's gonna deliver more energy back to me, which means we're gonna really dial in the core here. So squeeze those shoulders, separate and push the shoulders away. Squeeze the shoulders, separate and push the shoulders away. Now, if we put our toes underneath and we just barely pick up those knees, Right here, as long as we're pushing our shoulders through the ceiling, we're stabilizing and pushing into the ground using energy as opposed to holding ourselves up. You don't want to feel like you're holding yourself up. You want to think about you're pushing hard into the ground. Now, if you want to make this a notch harder, you can grab your yellow resistance band and we just go in the same position. So we round up the shoulders, push our shoulders through the ceiling, tuck those toes under and just barely pick up those knees. As you're doing this, while holding on to vibration through the platform, you're gonna feel an intense, intense energy dialing back and forth through you using the bridge that you're creating for that energy from the ground to the platform. It's going to light you on fire, I cannot wait. So, without further delay, let's get started. So, if you have your device, again, today I'm using the waiver press and so we have the handles, but I'm gonna show you without the handles first. And for this one, it comes with a little mat because I don't like my hands directly in contact with where the push-up uh, handles are gonna go. You wanna choose a lower level for this one, a lower level. So I'm gonna choose a P1, okay? And if you have a Rumblex, you might need to isolate the motors that go with a P1 or a P3 because all three motors together can be a little intense for this one. But nonetheless, try P1, P3, and if that's too hard for you, then drop back down and dial into whichever motors feel most comfortable for you. It's gonna be different for everybody. So for this, I'm gonna choose P1, and we're rolling. And I've got a mat underneath of my knees just to make this a little more comfortable on my knees. So again, we are pushing through the ceiling, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pushing through the ceiling, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So just doing this by itself is very calming in the neck and shoulder because we're mobilizing those muscles, but at the same time, we're creating some strength through the vibration that we're using. So just pushing away and squeezing the shoulders. Once we get to the point where we're comfortable with that, I'm gonna put that block on my upper shoulders just to make sure I'm stabilizing where I should be. So I should be able to push that block into the ceiling and just barely pick those knees up off the ground. Just barely. And then we slowly lower and then we squeeze the shoulders to reload it. Separate those shoulders, push through their ceiling, through the roof, pick those knees up. All right, now, if this causes you any pain in your palms, you can take paper towels or you can take a washcloth and roll it up underneath your hand and put it underneath your hand so that you have something to balance your hands on. For those of you who want a bigger challenge, if you have the push-up handles, remember the closer your push-up handles are to the center, the less vibration you feel, the further apart those handles go, the more intensity you feel. So we're gonna go back to basics here. We're gonna squeeze those shoulders, push those shoulders away, 
Squeeze those shoulders, push them away, okay? Now I'm gonna do this from a side view so those of you who are trying to relate to me can see what this looks like. Okay, so we're here. And just a little more cushioning underneath of my knees for extra comfort. So we're here, we're gonna push the ceiling away, elevate those knees. Remember to hold your pee and hold your boo, right? Dialing in that pelvic floor. Relax, so squeeze the shoulders, push away, elevate. Good, now if you feel like that's too far of a reach for you, let me show you a little trick. Wait for it. Now we have an extra pad. So you can put a pillow or pad underneath of your knees so that you're closer level with your platform. And then as you're pushing away, you're not lifting as far. So if you need to modify, squeeze, push away, lift. If you need to modify, this is the easiest way to modify. All right, remember, if you need to take your hands closer to the middle so you don't feel as much, you can see I'm not shaking as much, but still getting a really good workout, stabilizing, dialing in that core, because we all love core, right? So hands in the middle, just elevate those knees as you're pushing your shoulders through the roof. As I tell my clients all the time, if you can imagine Amber sitting on top of your shoulders, sitting up here on your back, push me off of you. Once you push me off of you, get those knees up, holding here, slowly lower, take a deep breath and pat yourself on the back because you did a great job. Again, that's not an easy exercise. For those of you who want, who, an e who want an even bigger challenge, you know about me, I like to amp it up. We are going to put the band around the wrist or you can put the band around your ankles, even harder. So again, push the ceiling off or get Amber off your shoulders. Elevate those knees. Good. Drop down, relax. I know you want it to be harder. I totally understand it. So let me show you this one. And again, if you need to have something underneath of your hands, grab yourself some wash towels, roll them up like little logs underneath your palms. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, here we go. So here we're going up here, pick up one leg, drop it down, pick up the other leg, drop it down and relax. So what's that look like from the side view angle? Let me show you. I'm gonna move my device forward a little bit. So we elevate one leg up, other leg up. We can get really creative, pick up a hand and an opposite hand, a hand and opposite arm, or I can't even get that straight. You know what I'm trying to say. Pick up one hand, opposite foot. Let's try that one again, okay? So we're here, one hand, one foot, switch, one hand, one foot, switch. And there you have it. So again, we can make it as easy as we want to by just starting here without any vibration at all. Squeeze and press. Just getting used to picking those knees up or maybe you just wanna squeeze and press. If you're having neck and shoulder pain, just start by squeezing and pressing because we gotta get that shoulder as mobile as possible if you're stuck and if your neck is nice and rigid, we wanna get that loosey-goosey. So that's how you can get going. Thank you again for watching today. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Just a few days left. A lot of points for you all to be accumulating towards that new flex stride. Can't wait to see who pulls it off. Have a great day.